talk about cross tables so cross tables you also may know them as a pivot tables uh, so what happens in pivot table is that you have a data like this you have like you know I have this region product and the months actually it's not column wise data it's like each month is a column and uh, normally in databases uh, we see other way around we see data like this region product and month and then we see the sales amount so normally the data is like this or we need data like this but uh, the data we have is like this and this is quite common when we are talking about projections or plans etc so in this case i have this plan data for sales and i want to unpivot that particular data so what i'm going to do is I'm going to start here. Uh, I'm going to just add, uh, reload this particular data in here and let's see what happens. Here we go. I got seven records. And if I go to uh, data model view, I see this file just like that we have in there okay now essentially I need to convert to the target format so what we have is we have in click there is a function called cross table function and in the cross table function first we need to know that how many rows we are going to how many columns we are going to ignore and let's say if your column is um, at the end you can start just write in here and uh, you know say that how many you know, columns you are going to ignore let's say there are two columns but we need to name these columns first when it unpivot itself so this is going to be called month and then I'm going to call it sales plan and ignore first two columns okay so here I go and let me call this as plan okay here we go uh, the data has been unpivoted and you see we now we have just four columns and this is our desired result but we just have noticed that you might have noticed that that this seems like a text not a date or a number so let's do another function uh, here we'll use the resident function here to make it more uh, usable okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this one as plan and then I'm gonna say load I'm gonna use these two columns in there and then I'm gonna say these two columns in there here we go and let's call it resident temp one and then I'm going to drop table temp one so this in this basically function I have uh, in this particular um, procedure I have used resident function and drop table function if you don't know that just google that or you can see that what resident function does is it uses the initially loaded table you need don't need to load the table again you can use the table that you have loaded previously and the drop table definitely there and when I load this ta particular table again there will be two big tables with the same everything so I want, don't want to make those tables uh, both of these tables that don't want that so I'm just dropping one table the dropping one table deletes the data from uh, table from the memory and let's just I'm just not changing anything I'm just calling this table as a date tip as date because if I don't have exactly the same columns it's gonna auto union or concatenate so I'm going to that and let's see now what happens here so you see 
I have this in uh, date instead and now I'm gonna use another function called date hash function this is an interpreting function so it says months and month is in format of mmm -Y, -Y, y and call it as date so just notice here it's on the right uh, left side which is mm, abbreviation for a number oh, sorry text and let me reload that data and now you see this has come on left side so this is become a date and just to showcase let me plot that in a table to be more visible so if i just add date you see it's on the right side which is a so uh, um, uh, showing that it is a number not a tax value okay so that's very easy thank you very much for watching i'm going to share a next video uh in again today uh with the reverse of the cross table uh, so keep an eye out for that